everyone, my name's Noelle. I'm a health educator with WVU's Family Nutrition Program, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make corn soup, one of my favorites. To get started, I made sure everything was clean, including my hands, and I made sure I had all my ingredients. For this soup, you're gonna need two stalks of celery chopped, an onion chopped, a potato chopped, and a bell pepper chopped. You can use any color you want. I just happen to use orange. You're gonna need some minced garlic, four cups of corn, five cups of vegetable broth, some butter to saute the vegetables with, and just a little bit of, of uh, flour or cornstarch. So, the first step is to get these vegetables sauteed. So here's our celery our onion, bell pepper, and potato. We're gonna let these cook for about five minutes. I'm gonna put the lid on because that'll keep the heat in so that they'll cook, cook and soften up a little bit faster. And now we wait. Now that the vegetables have been cooking for about five minutes, I'm gonna add some garlic. If you're gonna go mince the garlic yourself, you want about four cloves. I'm a lazy cook, so I use pre-minced garlic. So I'm gonna use about one tablespoon. Just give this a little stir and put the lid back on so that it'll keep on cooking. Okay, we're back. It's been cooking for another five minutes since I put the garlic in. So now I'm gonna give it another stir. If it's sticking a little bit to the bottom, just scrape it a little bit to get all that goodness off of the bottom of the pan. You can add a little bit of water or a little bit of vegetable broth to it if that makes it easier to do. And then we're going to add our corn, five cups. I used frozen corn, but you can use uh, fresh corn cut off the cob or you can use canned corn. If you use canned, you want to make sure you rinse it before you put it in the, into the soup so that you get all the extra sodium off of it. Um, and if you use corn off the cob, then you can actually use the cobs to make your vegetable broth. I'm a lazy cook, so I didn't do that. I just went for the, the ready-made broth. And I'm going to add five cups of that. And then the last thing I'm going to add is a tablespoon of flour or cornstarch. And that'll help thicken it up. All right, I'm gonna give it another good stir. And then we're gonna let it simmer for about 20 minutes. So we're back. The soup has been boiling away for 20 minutes now and it looks and smells amazing. At this point, it's done. And if you want to, give it a little taste. See if you wanna add a little bit of pepper or salt to it, that's up to you. And I personally like my soup a little creamier than this. So I'm gonna tell you a little secret about how to get creamy soup without cream, because cream is fattening. You use a blender. So this is an immersion blender that you just put right in the pot, or you can use a regular blender that you, that you blend up your uh, smoothies in, um, but you wanna let it cool down a little bit before you put it in your, if, if you're using that kind of blender. So I'm just gonna turn this on. I call it my magic wand. Okay, and I'm not gonna blend all of it. I still want it to be a little bit chunky, but that's just my personal preference. You make it however you want. So there it is, I am all done, except for the best part, tasting it. Oh, that's super good. 
There you have it. Enjoy your lunch, and thank you for joining me. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more recipe videos.